Hi, good morning everyone. I'm saying good morning from Korea, Seoul. I'm very happy and thanks everyone for your prayer so I can walk actually without stick. I can walk slowly. It's my recovery is very fast. I believe your prayer is very strong. God is answer to your prayer. Uh, everybody knows I was in Manila. Before I come here around three weeks, I could not walk. Uh, I could not lay down. I could not sleep. It's so painful. I have to walk to touching the wall. You remember it. And then uh, I decide to um, operate. So I contact some of my friend in Korea who has the same kind of sickness. And then I consult them. They said, wow, I did it last February. After two months now, it's okay. I can walk. I'm slowly and then it is so good technique, medical skill. Actually around 20 years ago in Manila, uh, it was the, my the pain and uh, my the spine is the very serious. I decided to operating in St. Luke in Crescent City. But at uh, that time, the many seniors said, do, don't put any knife on your spine that you finish. It's very difficult to, uh, uh, the, dif difficult to maintain. So I could not do that. But I did not realize the medical technique and skill year by year is developed so fast. Before even now in Philippines, many, if you have a spine the operation, they open your back and then they put inside and they cut all the muscle and the leech to the bone and they take it out the disc, cut it out and then they uh, leave sewing it and they put something stay. So it take the long time to recover it. Also, there sometimes there's uh, some other thing is to happen. But this time, I was, um, it was so difficult. But two weeks after when I have a self uh, quarantine, it's alone. It was one of the very uh, hard time for me to overcome. And after that, the, when I got the notice from the government that your self-quarantine is now expired. After two hours, I went to the hospital and check up. Next day, already uh, operation. It took only two hours, the operation. But they never cut it. But they just put the small, the ballpen, ballpen size of the hole. They put inside, we call the uh, endoscope endoscope and they put it there and then they cut and they take it out the, through the same that the hole they cut it only 8 millimeter less than 1 centimeter and then they go in they take it out almost 8 centimeter like the like fried chicken leg they took it out and when I wake up after one hour of operation, I found myself on the bed. I found myself, I lay down, I can see the ceiling of the room. And when I put, pull out my leg, I never feel any pain. When they take out those, the disc, and the main, the spine, the nerve is the walk original uh, routing and recovery quickly they 
I have the rehabilitate and then I do not feel any pain at all the down there it was the so many years those such pain and I really thanks God that when I see the ceiling I can lay down without pain after that uh, just uh, I start the uh, uh, walk with uh, some support but after two days, I already can uh, walk slowly. And nowadays, I'm walking almost every day, more than 10,000 steps a day. Uh, here, there, walk whole day. I go walk and resting and walk resting. It's reaching about uh, 12,000, 13,000 uh, steps. It seems like the one whole, 18 whole, whole course. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, pray. And then this time I also found, I did not know before when I check out, the doctor asked me to the MRA because I always feel the pain on my back here. And then doctors say it might be caused by the my the uh, neck, the uh, cervical spine, not the, this the one. So uh, they have <clears throat> they had the uh, uh, X-ray and MRA, and then when I check out, the doctor is see my the MRA, and he found he was so surprising my the number three the cervical spine has very small tunnel it should be one centimeter all the spine going but it's only 2.6 millimeter very short so it was very dangerous it is very dangerous when there's a shock come my neck is the some damage is the paralyzed whole body but it was really grace of God. I never feel the so pain on my neck. I also turn around, but my neck is like this. I little difficult to turn around. So uh, people pointing me, you have to put up my neck and walk straight. But I think I found this time that is the my reason. The the cervical the uh, vertebrae, the spine, but it is very the delicate the, to touch that. So actually today I'm going back to hospital to take it out, clean out the, my surgery, and also check my next. The I I'm going to hear their advice, but it seems like the very delicate the doctor also try not to try to touch even if it is very uh, needed uh, I need uh, many doctors the different opinion so maybe this time the while I'm in Korea I have to heal this my not only the this lumbar spine and then cervical uh, spine also uh, I, I, I have to recover my uh, lumbar spine first. So when I walk around, maybe another operation uh, you know, on my neck might be I need or just a medical treatment. It can go. I hope no operation is could be here. Anyway, thanks again, everyone. And nice to see you. I'm also believe you happy to see me, my smiling face, and my walking around uh, like this without the stick. I can walk but slowly and carefully. Um, today the title of the uh, daily bread is the hidden beauty hidden beauty something beauty inside of us is starting the first Samuel chapter 16 verse 1 uh, if I read it 
The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul? Since I have rejected him as king over Israel, fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Isa of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. And this story is the chapter 16 is going. The God chose the first king of the Israel is Saul because the, the judge, God sent the judges, the managing, the helping the Israel. But the Israel people say, we need a king. So as the, the prophet, the last prophet is Samuel. And Samuel asked God, and God allowed, and then they put the Saul is the first king of Israel. But the, this Saul is start to not to follow the instruction of God. He tried to be arrogant instead of God. He do everything. Something like the 15, uh, one page ahead, uh, chapter 15, 11, what God said to Samuel, I am grieved that I have made Saul king because he has turned away from me and has not carried out my instruction. Samuel was troubled. And he cried out to the Lord all the night because the Samuel is as God, Lord, please forgive the soul. But the God decided to reject the soul as the king. And the next uh, today, what we starting 16, he asking Samuel, you go to Bethlehem and look for the Isa. And I already chosen one of his son. And then that time, the soul is the always to look around what have what is doing the Samuel. He is the leader of the religion. He is the one who talked to the God. But at that time, the uh, soul already has many spy. What is doing the Samuel? So Samuel is very difficult to move around, and he say. How I go to the Bethlehem? Maybe Saul will angry. Saul will find him. And then God said, you bring the uh, some the offering. You say that you go to Bethlehem to sacrifice. And then he carried the, the, uh, the young cow and go to the Bethlehem and see the Isa. That is the today the story uh, God already reject the soul why he do not carry out his instruction he already become very arrogant he think I can I had did everything like this he already the God is the beside he showing himself as the leaders and Samuel already talked to him many times he do not listen so Lord is decide to change him the next uh, king. So, the Samuel went to the uh, Bethlehem, and then uh, meet the Isa. Who is the this Isa? The Isa is uh, as we today the verse chap, uh, verse three invite Isa to sacrifice. And I will show you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I indicate. So he went to the Ise house. But the, who is the, this Ise? You know, the, if you see the uh, Old Testament, the book of Judge, book of Samuel, today what we read, in between there is the book of Luz. Why suddenly the loose the lady's story very short, only four chapter, in between the judge and Samuel, suddenly the loose story intervened in two book. 
That is the only one purpose for Israel. If we see the loose chapter 4, loose chapter 4, <clears throat> Uh, verse 17 and 22 I read for you the woman living there said Naomi has a son and they named him Obed he was the father of Isaac the father of David Obed the father of Isaac and the Isaac the father of the David Everybody knows the loose Naomi, you remember? The Naomi has the daughter-in-law in Moab, the foreigner. Her name is the loose. When Naomi wants to go back to Israel, the daughter-in-law follow the mother-in-law. And then when she follow, she meet the Boaz, one of the uh, uh, Abraham, the heritage in her, the Boaz. And Boaz finally met the Luz and they have a baby. Name is Obed. This Obed is the father of Isaac. Isaac is father of David. Because the Jesus Christ come from the family of Abraham and David. That is the Isaac. So God said to Samuel, you go to Bethlehem and look for the Isaac. One of the, his sons I will choose and you put the oil on it. That is the, uh, today the story. And then uh, the Isaac is showing the, his son. Uh, he has the eight son, but the, he's showing the uh, uh, he's showing the uh, first son, second son, third son, but it looks like the, on the eyes of the Samuel, the first son looks like the very good, very handsome, very strong, but the God said no, it's not. The next one is not. Third one is not. And after he saw the seven, still the God said, it's not. So Samuel asked, he said, do you have any other son? Oh, I have uh, one last, my last one. He's still young. I think that time David, about four, uh, 15 years old. Uh, he normally, I send him to outside to take care of the sheep, like the pastor. Uh, he's now the feeding the uh, sheep. Uh, why don't you call him? Until he come here, I do not take the dinner together. We wait. So Isa called the last son is David. I think the David is, uh, the Bible is not clearly dictated. But it looks like the not very loved son by the father. So everything, like the slave. He's sending out all this. Even he do not including the, when you call the, your son, he called seven, but he do not including the David. But David is coming. And then, um, uh, he found, God said, this is the one. So Samuel is to put the oil and oint. And then the, uh, so Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in presence of his brothers. And from the day of that spirit of God came upon David in power. Samuel then went to Lama. This is the today's story, how they choose the David. But on the today, the main our verses is the chapter 16 and verse 7 uh, when the Samuel is the, the first son and, but the God said but the Lord said to Samuel do not consider his appearance or his height for I have rejected him the Lord does not 
look at the things men look at men look at the outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart we normally see the people the appearance wow he's handsome he's strong they tall is the mag matcher but the Lord our God he do not see the out out appearance he see the heart the center of our, our inner heart you see the uh, we are Christian we believe the Jesus Christ We also could not see other Christian. We can see only the appearance. We did not see whether inside of our heart, our heart of Christian, very deep, hidden, deep inside, hidden heart, whether we, he has the Jesus over there. What about you? You touch your heart deep inside in the hidden place. You still have your own ego or you already replace your ego into Jesus. So Jesus is handle your body, your soul, your life. Or even you accept the Jesus, you do not let this position, the deep, hidden hurt, still your ego, you want to control your life, yourself, your soul, your spirit. The hidden, deep inside of heart. God do not see the appearance. God see here, your heart. You see the uh, when we have the Jesus here because of Jesus with the power we have a faith trust faith that faith is the strong energy to live out this the world to carry out the love of Jesus the word of God the faith is believe yes but faith is to obey the God's word obey you know the God is happy to his people to totally obey like the Noah you remember the Noah's ark God chose Noah and instruct him making an ark for so many years in dry day never rain on top of mountain but the Noah just to obey the word of God and he become he become the great and also Abraham same at his age 75 years old I'm not just 75 years old He's 75 years old. God called him. He's just to follow his order. And if you see the Genesis chapter 12, it's very famous. The verses 1 to 3. Everybody, I think, remember this. And we read again. Genesis chapter 12, starting like this. The Lord has said to Abraham, Leave your country, your people, your father's household, go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, whoever curse you. I will curse 
and all people on the earth will be blessed through you. God called Abraham, ask him leave your household, leave your problem, go to the place where I show you. You will be great father. You will be a blessing. When God called us, we accept the Jesus Christ. We already be blessing. Those who ever who meet us, they are blessed. So God said, that when you bless, I will bless. When people curse you, I will curse them. You are the foundation of the blessed. And the promise of God to Abraham, he followed. He just holding it. And then he follow, he obeyed. And God bless. He become the father of the great nation. So this kind of the to obey the word of God, that is something. When people ask you, do you believe Jesus? Are you Christian? And then, what? How they can see whether I am Christian? I am believe Jesus, because they can see whether our life is really following the word of God to live out. Whether what I what I believe in deep here is really live out. People can see your life. And second, it's also how to show our face to the other people. Our face very deep inside. Because appearance is the same. It's one of way by choice. What we choose to do, that is way to showing the people. Many Christians, they say, I'm very good Christian. I'm going to church. I pray a lot. But the, when they choose something in this world, they are not different with other worldly people, unbeliever, or sometimes they are more greedy. Even they say, I am following the Jesus, but they are way of the truth. They don't care other people, they try to get it. That kind of choice, choice, what we do, people see that. When we sharing the word of God to unbeliever, they feel I'm sinner, and then they respect you. But when they see your life, your way of choice along your life is not like the world. You are same like them and they start disappointing. You are same like me. Why? Why I have to believe that? I just follow my conscience to live it. I do not commit any sin. I better live by doing good. Why? They see what we choose. They see whether we obey the word of God. What about your face? Is healthy? What about your inside? Very deep inside. Today the title is a Hidden Beauty. What kind of hidden beauty you have today? I truly believe our hidden beauty should be just Jesus. Jesus, we have a hidden beauty. Because of that Jesus, our face is coming out. Our lifestyle is different. 
Today, the many people, world people, try to live in upgrading, upscale lifestyle. Upscale lifestyle, in USA, they call it the somebody buying one, I want to buy it. Somebody wearing it, I want to wearing it. Like the more is the branding one, nice car, better car. Why? To show it to other people. Appearance. Looks good appearance. It's not the I am what kind of person. They show the product showing the I own this one. So I am the big good one. Strong one. That we call upscale. Upscale lifestyle. In uh, USA, in the uh, slang, the, the Johns, like Tom Johns, the Johns, those the uh, uh, foolish guy just to spend money to showing, upscaling for nothing. But the right the Christian is living downscale lifestyle. Downscale lifestyle, minimum and simple. Is two very simple life and minimal life but they save the money they have enough money but their life is very simple and minimal so they don't worry they have enough to handle it downscale downscale lifestyle I am propose you all the Christian Simplify. Do not compare to other people. And minimal. Minimal life. So, uh, hidden beauty. What is your hidden beauty? I truly believe your hidden beauty is Jesus. Jesus. So, Today the word is the first Samuel chapter 16 and 7 is the reminding again. Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things men look at. Men look at the outward appearance. But the Lord look the heart. I'm very happy to see and speak to you again. I'm trying to do every Monday. So you can see me even we are very far away. I can share you. So we still have good connection. Everyone, I need still your prayer. Please pray for me to recover, reinstall everything. So until I come back to Philippines. Uh, we worry about uh, nowadays more than 2,000 new uh, confirmed patient is coming. So. Uh, we really have to pray for Philippines. For those people, everybody is innocent. But uh, we should be more careful to moving around. I hope the, all of our family never get any patient. And then hold in peace. Thank you again. I love you. I hope see you next Monday. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.